Okay, so let's try editing something a little bit more challenging. So this particular photo um, has got a few obvious problems here, notably that uh, other people um, have got into the shot. So um, how do we go about removing them and making this photo uh, a little better? Well, <clears throat> there are a number of ways of doing it. The basic way is to use the selection tools to select the areas that you don't want, remove them, and then use the clone tools to actually um, build up the image again in those areas where you need them. Um, so I'm going to start off by clicking on this tool up here. It's called the uh, Free Select tool or the Lasso tool, I think it's called in, uh, in Adobe Photoshop. And um, what this does is it allows me to get around an irregular shape. So I'm going to click my mouse button around the edge of this uh, person's face here. It doesn't have to be too accurate, but um, I'm just going to try and make my way around, selecting all the bits that I want to be removed. Okay. And around we go. And then once we've gone around the whole face, I'm going to click back right up the top corner here. And then to complete the shape, I need to click on the first point I clicked on with the tool. And you can see it now starts to go to um, what's known in Adobe Photoshop as the marching ants. So this kind of flushing uh, line around here. Now I can do a number of things with this area now. I've got it selected. But let's, uh, let's say we're not really bothered about it. I'm just going to hit the delete key at this point and that's going to remove that area completely. So already that's, that makes the photo less distracting. Um, but let's, uh, let's do a control A, in fact, to select everything. So um, yes, it's got rid of this person's face, but it's left a big gap in the photo. So um, how are we going to deal with that? Well, the best way I've found to deal with it is to use this uh, the clone stamp tool here. So I'm going to click on that tool. And then what you need to do is you need to put in a sample, am I on the right layer? Uh, down here, I'm going to alt click in an area and it should really be near the area you're going to uh, repair. So I'm going to keep near the edge but not so near the edge that uh, it's going to cause me a few problems. Oh, brush is a bit small so I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. So I've got a big brush here, you can see the circle where the brush is going to paint. And here we go, we're going to clone out this area of sky over here, I've got a little bit of a line there, and we can keep clicking, over clicking if it if there's a bit of a gap or a bit of an artifact being created there. So you can see we're painting back in the sky there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, I'm going to take another sample that's a bit closer to this area here because we're getting a bit of a bit further away. So it's kind of blending in that area and what was already there. So we carry on doing this. Um, alternatively, if it was a flat colour like this, what you can do is you can you could select that area and just fill it with a colour using the fill tool here. It's going to continue on cloning down here. You can see it's getting lighter as we get further down, so you can see it's starting to... Uh, that uh, made the sky a bit too light up there, so I think what I'm going to do is it kind of in phases going down like this and then I'm going to take another sample down here click across here uh, a little bit lighter okay. Okay. down we go till we fill in all that gap that we deleted there okay and we can just uh, manipulate that as we like if you want to just get a nice uh, Oh, it looks to be a little bit of an artifact up there. And voila, now the face has gone from around there. Um, if you zoom in too much, you can see that there is a probably a, a little bit of an issue in there if I press the plus key. But um, uh, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, but we're going to be um, cropping this area out anyway, so I'm not going to be too worried about uh, um, it being too perfect.
So I'm just going to use the minus key to go out. Um, so that's that area dealt with quite nicely and quickly. Um, this chap's elbow, or lady, I'm not quite sure who it is. I'm going to use the, uh, the lasso 2 tool to select that area and get rid of that. Again, I'm going to go down. That has, again, don't need to be too close, too much of a match, but let's not take away uh, more detail than, than we have to. So I'm going to click all the way down here, again across to the corner, and then up to the start point. And again we get the marching ants around here. So um, again I can press the delete key if I want to get rid of it. There you go. So that's removed that, but now we've got this whopping area of the building that we didn't actually capture in the first place. So that's a bit of a problem if we're going to crop it down here We've either got to crop this end off so we get a unsymmetrical photo or we've got to just restrict it to the centre part of the photo which unfortunately is uh, obstructed by this obelisk in the way. So um, the best way to deal with this again is with the clone stamp tool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go just select the window. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So, what are we missing? Okay, we're missing a couple of parts of this building. So I can see that this this section here is probably going to be the same as this section here. So if I'm lucky, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use actually I'm going to use a select key, and I'm just going to um, cut and paste in the changes. So I'm going to take it from about there. I think I'm going to select this area on the background. Probably take it all the way down to there actually. Um, Okay, so I've selected this area of the background. I'm going to press Control C to copy it. Okay, or you can do, I think, select copy from there. I'm going to do a Control V to paste it. And now you'll see in this window now that we've got this second layer which says floating selection. Now GIMP won't let you do anything with uh, with the photo until you get rid of this floating selection. So um, you need to press this key at the bottom, create a new layer from it. Or alternatively, you can right-click it, I think, and use a merge down. Um, I'm not sure why GIMP doesn't do that for you automatically. Um, Photoshop does. Um, I find it slightly annoying, but um, it's probably got some uh, reason for, for not actually doing it automatically. So what we've got here, if I click the on the eye icon here and take it off, um, I just take off the background. So what we've got is this little, in this layer here, we've got this little part of the background. And in the background, we've got the whole thing. So all I've done is just duplicated that little stretch, this bit here that we've got selected. So what I'm going to do now is making sure I'm on that pasted layer. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to drag it across. And I'm going to try and place it underneath there so that it duplicates that window there. And again, if I use the plus key, I can zoom in to get my uh, fine detail just right, and I can use the arrow keys as well to accurately position it. Actually, that was a pretty good job. From there, um, let's just scroll across and see. It's about the right level. Uh, oh, no, no, it's a little bit too low there, so let's try and pull it up a bit. So we've got that bar continuous across there. The lines here look good. And then, so what's that going to look like when we zoom out? So it doesn't look too bad, does it? So we've uh, we've uh, put that bit back in. Okay, we've got a little bit of a problem here that we need to we need to sort, uh, and we've got a problem with the steps here.